So you're thinking of moving to Phoenix, Arizona? Well, today I'm actually out here in the West Valley, the city of Glendale, right next door to State Farm Stadium, home to the Arizona Cardinals. And do I have a treat for you today? I'm gonna to show you the state-of-the-art, most incredible resort I've ever seen uh, that's coming here to the Valley and also right adjacent to that, an amazing outdoor theme park of the likes we've never had before dealing with our heat. But it's all under construction, so it's not slated open for about another year. So I've gone around, I've uh, taken some drone footage today. I'm gonna upload some renderings so you can kind of see what it's all about. But I'm just gonna kind of take you on a joy ride of what this place is gonna look like when it's all built. So with that being said, just kick back and relax and enjoy the ride because we're getting after it right now. Hey, my name is Rick Hancock of the Phoenix, Arizona Living Team. And if this is your first time in the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about real estate in and around the Metro Phoenix area, then be sure and subscribe below and tap that bell for notification. That way you'll be the first to know about our current real estate market. You know, we get calls and emails from people just like you every single day looking to move to the Phoenix area. And we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move next week, a month from now, or even maybe a year from now, it's okay, you can go ahead and reach out to us. You can give us a call, you can shoot us a text, you can send us an email, we can even schedule a Zoom call. All of our contact information is listed below, and we'd be more than happy to help you make that smooth move to Phoenix. All right, so I'm just down the street from State Farm Stadium, and I'm sitting here at one of the neighborhood parks, and I, I was just kind of excited to, to shoot this video because the more I started reading about what's coming, got me really excited. I have talked about it before in previous videos, but I, I really started doing some in-depth uh, research on, on this whole adventure park, this whole resort. And I thought, you know what? I need to go out. I need to shoot some updated drone footage because it's all under construction, upload a few renderings, and really dive deeper into what this is all about. Because this is going to be unmatched here to the Valley. We've never seen anything like that come to Phoenix. And all it's going to do is just enhance and explode and further develop this whole area of Glendale and the West Valley. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take you right through it. All right, so let me go down through some bullet points here. I've printed off some information, so I'm gonna kind of read through that as you're seeing some of the aerial footage and uh, the renderings that I'm gonna be putting up here for you. But uh, this is, I'm gonna talk about the Mattel Adventure Park first, and then I'll talk about the Vi Resort here secondly, but uh, it's gonna be open 365 days a year. Uh, they're going to have all themes. Mattel, not only uh, they got two amazing roller coasters, but then they've got some other things that I'm going I'm to talk about here in a minute. But um, it's all indoors. It's going to be fully air conditioned. So in the heat of summer, that's, that's what's been so hard here living here. You can't do anything in the summertime outdoors because it's just too hot. Uh, but it's going to be a fully air conditioned uh, building with all of these themes uh, scattered throughout the park inside all the loading and unloading of like the roller coasters are all gonna be done inside air condition. So you might have a little exposure when you're outside right in the coast, but for the most part, it's all indoors uh, and you can use it any time of day. So in the heat of summer, when people are trying to figure out, you know, where are we gonna go? Where, where can you come off? This is gonna be a mega attraction for people uh, when this all gets uh, up and running, but they've got two, they got two themed roller coasters, which are pretty cool. Uh, they got the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, and then they have the Hot Wheels Twin Mill Racer. Uh, and they'll do different things. I mean, the, uh, the neat thing about the, the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, it's, it's going to be the first of its kind ever done uh, through Hot Wheels with its famous skull design. So it's going to have the hot rod skull design up in the front of the coaster, which is going to be kind of cool. And it's going to climb, they say, the heights of about 84, 85 feet in the air. Uh, and then uh, while that, you've also got the Hot Wheels Twin Mill Racer. It's going to have its uh, features, the double loop and two corkscrews. Uh, so it's going to be a, a great roller coaster ride in itself. So you've got a couple of those that you can take. And you'll see in the drone, you'll, you'll, see, you'll see the uh, roller coasters that are, that are set up outside. You can see some of the track on that. Um, but it's, just, it's going to be just an amazing, amazing setup. All right, some of the other Mattel brands that they're going to be having here at this adventure park uh, is the Thomas and Friends World of, I think it's pronounced Soda. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, so they're going to have seven uh, different attractions and rides, including a big indoor play space uh, for the little kids. So they're going to have an area that they can go to. 
Uh, there's also going to be a full scale Barbie beach house. Uh, and if you're a Barbie fan, it's great because the movie just came out. Uh, you can get a closer look inside the uh, Barbie's iconic closet in the Barbie dream closet experience. And what they're going to do is they're going to use hologram technology that's going to bring Barbie to life. So that's going to be pretty cool for people to experience. Uh, and the attraction's also going to include a rooftop bar and restaurant that's going to have incredible views of the whole property. So you can go up there and take advantage of that. Uh, also, they're going to have a mini golf experience. It's going to have nine holes. It's going to be inspired by the Magic 8 Ball, which will be kind of fun. Pictionary uh, and other Mattel games that they're going to have. They're also going to have a larger than life custom climb Uno structure that delivers uh, a great experience for kids of all ages. I love Uno. I used to play that game all the time. So it's a fun card game. Uh, they're also going to have a Masters of the Universe. Uh, where you can fight for eternity in a massive 4,500 square foot laser tag arena. They say it's going to be much the likeness of the iconic Castle Grayskull Fortress. So if you're familiar with that, this is going to be similar to that. So it should be great fun for kids of all ages. Okay, that's a little bit about the Mattel Adventure Park that's coming, and that's going to sit on nine acres. Now I'm going to shift gears and talk about the Vi Resort. This is just incredible, right out here in the heart of the Arizona desert. This 60 acre, it's going to be referenced as a resort oasis. It's a billion dollars to build. It's going to have a $40 million dollar amphitheater and live entertainment area. It's just going to be unprecedented. And uh, I, I love the mission statement from the, uh, the guy who's responsible for putting this all together. He said, our mission is to redefine the luxury hospitality experience while incorporating the thrill of live entertainment. And that's it. That's exactly what it's going to be. It's just a mega resort that has four towers, and I'll go through those here in a minute, that have different themes. In the heart of that, in the center of all of this, is going to be a, a, just an incredible amphitheater uh, where you can listen to live music, a whole beach experience. It's just It's just going to redefine what resort living is all about. Uh, so the resort itself is going to offer about 1,100 luxury rooms, suites, and villas. Uh, and they're going to be across four towers. And they're all set up a little differently. Whether you want more, you're more of a party goer, somebody who's more of a retreat seeker, uh, if you're in a group or a family, or maybe you're a trailblazing traveler, uh, you can s stay in these different little sections of the hotel called towers and what's interesting the first one is called the muse tower uh, and this is the first of its kind because nothing has ever been built like this before uh, and they're going to feature 328 guest rooms with 160 of these rooms and suites that'll have concert views uh, directly off a private balcony outside your room Uh, and it's going to have a whole state-of-the-art stage, so you can literally stay at the resort, walk out the back door, out your patio. Uh, some of these will even have sky boxes where you can invite family and friends to come watch. And you can sit there and watch the live entertainment at the resort. It's just, it's just an incredible setting uh, that you'll be able to, to take advantage of. And they've got another one called the Rhythm Tower. Looks like it's going to have a lot of conference spaces. Uh, it's going to be a little different theme with families and kids. Uh, and that's going to be over there by the, by the Adventure Park. Uh, the other tower is going to be called the Cadence Tower. Uh, and that's going to be more of kind of a... They call it the Ultra Lux Accommodation, where it's more of you kind of settle in and stay a while. It's, it's more for those that retreat. And I love their little saying. It's called, they call it Play Retreat play repeat so <laughs> you can go over there and you can have a lot of fun there but it kind of gets you a little bit removed from probably the hustle and bustle uh, and then they got the vi villas so if you want luxury accommodations here at the resort uh, they're gonna they're gonna this is gonna be the ultimate suite tower and they're gonna have rooms ranging from 1100 square feet <laughs> up to the penthouse which is 5300 square feet i can imagine what that's gonna cost Uh, but it's going to have, you know, that tower is going to have its own uh, infinity edge rooftop pool and it's going to overlook the whole, uh, the whole complex. So you can just go up there and just get some amazing views 
of what's taken place uh, at the resort. So that kind of gives you a snapshot of what the towers are going to be. So part of which is going to be called the Island Life here at the resort. Um, it's going to be kind of at the apex of Conus Island is the epicenter for this whole resort. And Conus Island is going to be the largest man-made party island in the U.S. Uh, and it's just going to kind of redefine the whole entertainment around the resort. So it's pretty cool. Here's a little bit about the beach life. And it's just got an amazing setup here, but it's going to be five acres of temperature controlled blue or clear blue waters and nearly one mile of white sand beaches lined with exotic green palms. <laughs> I can't even imagine dropped right here in the heart of the desert. Uh, you're going to have, you know, you got private cabanas, you got, uh, you got a lot of activities that you can take, that you can utilize. You're going to have Caribbean and Mediterranean uh, themes throughout the, the park or, the, or the, uh, the water area. All right, and they're also going to have a tethered hot air balloon. It will take 30 guests up in the air. So you'd be able to get some amazing views of the resort. Uh, and they're also going to have what is called the Kona Sky Bar. That goes up about 130 feet in the air. You can go up there, you can have a cocktail, take in the views of the surrounding area. So that's going to be nice. And in addition to some of the things I've already talked about, uh, the resort's also going to offer 80,000 square feet of approximately 40 luxury retail uh, shops and stuff that you can, you can go to. Uh, they're going to have some art galleries as well. So you can have some, some other experiences outside of the pool area and also the entertainment venue in and around the Vi Resort. All right, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Can't wait for both of these to open up. I want to go on that roller coaster. Hopefully it'll be here before you know it, maybe this time next year. Uh, hey, if you found this video helpful, be sure and like it. And don't forget to share your thoughts or comments you have down below. You know, we have these videos coming out every week, everything related to real estate in and around the Metro Phoenix area. I would love to share them with you. So if you haven't already done so, uh, please be sure and subscribe to the channel and tap that bell for notification. And if we can ever help you with any of your real estate needs, whether you're looking to buy a home, you're moving here to the valley, maybe you currently live here, you've got a home to sell, or you're looking for an investment property, uh, just let us know. We're here for you, and we can definitely help you with that. Feel free to give us a call. You can shoot us a text. You can reach us by email. We can even schedule a Zoom call. Whatever it takes, I would love to help you with your real estate needs. So again, thanks so much for watching, and until next time. We hope to show you around town. Bye now.